All right, up for sale, we got a um, Wilson's Leather 1X. Um, pretty much Dean Winchester's leather jacket. This is the real deal Dean Winchester leather jacket. Of course, it wasn't worn by him, but it's the exact Wilson's Leather model, which is extremely hard to find. And what makes this jacket extremely unique is it was professionally distressed to look exactly like Dean's. And we'll kind of zoom out a little bit so you can see it. It's actually not too big. It's a little bit bigger than a large, believe it or not. Um, a large M. Julian and a large Wilson's fits me really, really well. And this jacket is a tad bit too big. A little bit too big, but really not, doesn't look too bad, especially if you layer up the clothes. Um, so let's look a little bit on the distressing. Everything was professionally distressed to where um, the jacket's grain was not affected. Um, so you can see it's still there. Um, I think the guy's methods was he used some dyes and a little bit of sandpaper, not too much, but mainly dyes, which is a good thing, which actually prefer, preserves the jacket. Um, and the cool thing is he got it pretty much exactly like Dean's, especially those those like smudges that you can see that Dean has. There's the coffee stains. Um, let's actually look at the back. Uh, sorry. All right, and here's the back of the jacket. Again, distress just like Dean's. With the elbow marks and the um, and the line the line marks. So this jacket is exactly distressed almost 100% like Dean's. If you want a Dean Winchester jacket, this is as close as it gets. Sadly, um, I only have an X, a 1X, 1XL. Um, I do have a large, but that's not for sale. And this is really, really nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna probably give mine to the guy. I personally distressed my large, but I couldn't get this right. And he looks like looks like he got it perfectly, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. But yeah, this is up for sale on eBay. And uh, just a comparison, this is the real model. This is not a knockoff. That's Wilson's leather. Comes with a removable liner and the pocket. Um, to give you an example, we have a, uh, a M. Julian in large, and we're gonna put that over it just so you guys can see how much bigger the 1XL is. And this M. Julian is actually, could you hold it? Is actually um, a true large. It fits like a large. It fits me perfectly. And it's about, I can't see if you guys can tell, it's about that much more bigger. So it's not too bad. Um, the arms, actually, the M. Julian is actually a little bit longer in the arms. Um, and the M. Julian is pretty close to Dean's jacket, but it's not the exact model. Um, you can't go wrong with either one, but the Wilson's leather is the exact model that Dean wears. You can tell that the color right, is Here's different. the jacket in the sun. Um, As you can see, it really resembles Dean right here. Um, th these jackets are kind of weird because they change colors in different lighting. Um, actually, I'll take it in so it's darker. It's going to look more black when you take it in, and then when you put it in the sun, it looks like a reddish brown. And in a normal lighting, it, it just looks like a nice brown color. Um, but this is pretty much the jacket. Um, in the sun, looks really, really nice. I like it when it's in the sun because it looks really nice. It looks just like jeans. Um, here's the back of it. Oh, by the way, that's the M. Julian in the sun. Um, looks more yellow, yeah. But in the, the Wilson's leather looks really, really nice in the sun. And uh, let's go ahead and get somebody to wear it, so you guys can check it out. All right, so here's a here's a person wearing it right now, and um, this person is about five nine, five nine and a half, uh, weighs about maybe like one eighty. Um, and as you can see, the jacket fits him pretty well. He's actually my brother. He's only fourteen. Uh, he's wearing shorts, so that might be a little bit different. But here it is in you know normal lighting. Fits pretty good on him. Why don't you uh, take your hands out of the pocket so you can see how it looks. Um, see the the the, um, the the length of the sleeves kind of just a little bit um, a little bit long. Um, usually they would they would stop right at the wrist, but this is a little bit a little bit past the wrist, so it's not too bad. 
and his knees are right down there so it's a little bit above his knees so really for a 1x it's it's not bad it's it's uh fits really well turn around let me see the back uh, there's the back so you can see it fits him pretty good and let's go ahead and take it in a, into the sun you want to go into the sun now so they there can see into the sunlight um really resembles that dean pose where he's uh where he's uh pretty much selling the impala to his father um it looks really really nice the collar pops really good it's not stiff or anything and um looks really nice let's go ahead and take it in inside so you guys can see the how it looks in in in, in, in dark uh lighting all right that's how the jacket looks in the dark see how it's really dark brown almost black looking you can still see the distress marks um looks very nice just like Dean's um really really nice jacket go ahead and turn around let him see the back there it is in the back so you can tell move forward a little bit um really dark color really nice beautiful jacket this is pretty much if you want a Dean Winchester, Winchester jacket this is what this is what you want to shoot for so we're selling this on eBay. I'm selling it for exactly what I'm in for it. And it's actually not my jacket. Um, it's actually a friend's jacket. He purchased it uh, months ago. And um, it's actually too small on him, believe it or not. So he found a 2X uh, and he's getting that professionally distressed. So he's selling it for what he's in for it. Uh, with the distressing fees and how much he got it off of eBay, um, he's really not making a profit off of it. Uh, so I guess uh, didn't fit on him maybe it'll fit on you and you'll enjoy it more but this is a this is pretty much as close it's gonna as it's gonna get and um, since we're doing a review on it and we're trying to be as honest as we can here um, there will be no returns accepted and it's only gonna be US buyers um, mainly because he doesn't want to deal with the international sales it's you know it's a little bit more trickier and, and Things tend to get lost when you ship out to international due to customs and stuff. So he really doesn't want to deal with that. So if you're a U.S. buyer, you're looking for a 1X, even in a large or maybe an XL, um, this could be your jacket. Um, and that's about it.